Hello, Eric Kernice here for SkySwitch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log SMS messages from an SMS-enabled DID to a Google spreadsheet using Zapier. So to start, we'll need a Google spreadsheet. Here I have one entitled SMS messages to 747-777-8599. And you'll notice that I've created three column headers, one called source, one called destination, and one called message. Now that I have this spreadsheet ready, I can proceed to the next step, which is to log into Zapier and create a Zap. So here I've created a Zapier test account, and a Zapier account will do, and I'm going to click Make a Zap. The purpose of this Zap is to have Zapier receive SMS messages from the SMS-enabled DID, and then to pass them on to Google Sheets to update a row in the Google Sheet. So, first I need a trigger app, and I'm going to choose Webhook as my trigger app. So I search for Webhook, and I see Webhooks by Zapier, and I'm going to select that. And uh, once I select that, it gives me two options. One is to retrieve poll, and the other is to catch a hook. I'm selecting catch hook and I'm going to click save and continue and I'm going to just keep on clicking continue until we see the webhook URL that Zapier provides me. This is what I need and I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. Next I'm going to log in to the SkySwitch DID portal and this is the inventory manager uh, for DIDs and I'm searching for this phone number, which is the phone number we're going to use, 747-777-8599. Now, this phone number has already been SMS enabled, as we can see by the little SMS icon, but I'm going to manage the SMS routes by clicking the SMS option here. And when I do that, we see that SMS messages are currently routed to the ReachUC uh, mobility client to uh, this domain and my user within that domain. Well, what I want to do is I want to send copies of those SMS messages to the Zapier webhook so that those messages can get logged to the Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to click Add Another Recipient. And here I'm going to choose URL as the option. And I'm going to paste the Zapier webhook URL right here. And then click Save. Now that we see that the Zapier webhook URL was successfully saved, I'm going to uh, close this box and I'm going to send a message to this SMS enabled DID from my cell phone. So right now I'm on my cell phone and I'm typing a message to this DID. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want that message to get sent to the Zapier webhook so that we can parse it and have it passed on to the Google spreadsheet. So now we go back to Zapier, and I'm going to click OK, I did this. I'm going to click Continue again. And now we're going to choose an action app. So the first part of the Zap was to choose a trigger, which would be an SMS message coming into the URL uh, of the webhook. The action app will be to create a row in the Google Sheet. So I select Google Sheets. And I have a couple options here. One is to create a spreadsheet row, and another is to update a spreadsheet row. I'm going to select Create a Spreadsheet Row. Uh, click Continue. Now, I've already linked this Zapier account to the Google Docs account associated with my email address. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. If this step hadn't been done yet, Zapier would ask you to link your Zapier account with a Google account. As I click through here, the next step is to pick a spreadsheet from my Google Docs account. And I'm picking the spreadsheet SMS messages to 747-777-8599. So now we know the spreadsheet name. We need to pick a worksheet. There was only one worksheet in that spreadsheet, so I'm selecting Sheet 1. And here we see that it has detected the column headers that I created, namely source, destination, and message. And what I need to do now is to map each of these headers to one of the, to part of the payload from the message. So when I click here, it's going to look at the test message I sent. Uh, and here are all the different fields available in the test message. And so for source, I'm going to select the source. 
which was my cell phone number. For destination, I'm going to select the destination field, which was the SMS number itself. And for message, I'm going to select the message field. Now I click continue. And this shows us the sample of the data that's going to be sent to the Google Doc. So if I click send test to Google Sheets, it's going to take the content of that message and uh, this tells us that it was successful. And if I go back over here to my Google Sheet, I see that indeed the message was sent successfully. So now just to show that this works, I'm going to come back here, click finish. Now I have to name the zap. I'm going to name it SMS messages 2747777 and click the on button. Okay, so now this tells us that the Zap is on and working. And just to show that it is, I'm going back here to Google Sheets and I'm going to send another text message that says, hello, Eric. Okay, the message was sent and there we see the Google Sheet was updated. And it's as simple as that. Now any text message sent to this phone number will automatically be logged in Google Sheets. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.